Hello, I'm Scott Smith. I'm Tanya Smith. Welcome to the Turpentine Creek Podcast. My name is Jessica Sims. I'm a staff zoologist here at Turpentine Creek. Right now we're standing on the balcony of the Kilimanjaro Room. And the Kilimanjaro Room is one of our five new safari lodges that we have here at the refuge. So not only can you help out the cats by paying admission to get in, by donating either your time, your money, or supplies to the cats, um, but also staying here at the refuge overnight is an excellent way to help the cats out because all the money from staying here at the, at the Ben Breakfast Rooms goes back to the cats. We're about seven miles away from Eureka Springs, which is a popular vacation spot. You can find live music, shopping, um, tons of great places to eat. But why stay in town when you can stay the night here near the cats and wake up to this beautiful view of northwest Arkansas? Each of the five safari lodges, which are our newest rooms, has a private deck just like this one with a view out the back just like this. And then each of the rooms also shares a central deck out the front door. And the central deck has a hot tub on it and a kind of gazebo with a fire pit inside. So you can socialize or you can come out here to be by yourself. Either way, it's really fun. The other three rooms we have on site are the tree house, green room, and blue room. The neat thing about those rooms is that they're closer to the cats. So you get a view of the cats um, from outside your window. So the blue room, which you see here, has a view of Loretta right outside her window. And the blue room um, is right next to the green room. And the green room also has a view of three cats outside their window. And then each of the rooms shares a front porch. And then you can see cats from the front porch as well. So you're pretty much surrounded by cats in the blue and green room, which is really, really neat. And the tree house, it's raised off the ground, you know, kind of like you're in a tree house. Um, you can uh, view several different cats from the porch or from the room um, up in the loft. The price of all the rooms includes admission to the park, and it's pretty much an all-day pass. Um, Check-in time is at 2 p.m. You can even come earlier than 2 p.m. and walk around and see the cats and then check into your room. And that's also neat because when you check out, you can do the same thing. Check-out time is at 11 a.m. You can stay way past 11 a.m. if you want to and still see the cats and then leave you know, at closing if you want to. For more information, you can go online at www.turpentinecreek.org or you can call us at the gift shop at 479-253-5841 for more information or any questions that you might have. Hey, Wings. Please don't try to eat me. Uh -huh. I'm staff biologist Carrie Trudeau with this week's question of the week, which is what is the difference between a Bengal and a Siberian tiger? Now, here at the refuge, a lot of our animals are either half- Bengal and half Siberian, or we really don't know their lineage. Since they've come from breeders that really preserving the species is the last thing on their mind, they're just worried about producing tiger cubs. So unfortunately, we don't have very many purebreds here. Uh, but the major difference between a Bengal and a Siberian tiger is, of course, where they come from in the wild. Siberians are named after where they come from, Siberia and Northern Asia, whereas Bengal tigers come from India, Indonesia, in uh, places where there's a little bit warmer of a climate. The, another big difference between Bengals and Siberians is that Siberians are a lot larger. They are the largest cats in the world, with the males getting to be from four to 600 pounds. Uh, the Bengals max out at about 450, 500 pounds. So that's a big difference. Also, their coloring. Uh, Bengals tend to be a bit more richer orange, whereas the Siberians are kind of a paler orange. Um, that the rich orange helps them blend in um, where they live in the more jungle areas. The stripes are a lot different as well. Uh, on a Bengal tiger, the stripes are more frequent and they're a lot closer together. So that in the jungle, uh, where they're trying to hide under the shade and everything, the stripes being more frequent will help them blend in a lot better. This is Donna. She's a half Bengal, half Siberian mix, but she does exhibit some of the markings that a Bengal tiger would have. Um, you see she's a lot more orange and her, she's got lots of stripes and they're really close together, which is again is what we talked about, what would uh, be characteristics of a Bengal tiger. Now this is Pebbles, in contrast to Donna, she is a Siberian tiger. So you can see her coloring is a lot lighter than Donna, she's not quite as rich of an orange color. And her stripes, you can see, are a lot less frequent and they're farther apart, which again is a characteristic that makes her a Siberian tiger. Her size as well, if we were to see her right next to Donna, she is uh, a lot bigger than Donna. She probably has about 75 to 100 pounds on her. Well, Donna and Pebbles live together in a habitat with their friend Wings. And they live right outside of our green room, which is one of our Call of the Wild bed and breakfast. So if you want to stay overnight at the refuge, it's $125 a night, and you can watch all three outside your window for the night. It's a great way to raise money 
to support the cats. Hi, my name is Stephen Vargas. I'm a staff biologist here at Turpentine Creek. And this big boy right here is Ziggy, our cat of the week. Uh, Ziggy and Tigger G were both rescued from Fairview, Missouri just a little under a year ago. Um, their previous owners were actually moving and they had no plan to take their two pets with them. They were both well taken care of. Um, they had an indoor barn area and an outdoor habitat which lacked a jump guard or a roof which could have made it easy for them to jump out. Um, Ziggy right here where he's one of our guests favorites because of his um, large stature and his gentle personality. He's actually the father of our two of our youngest cats here, BB King and Mac. Um, back when we rescued them, uh, we had no idea that Tigger G was pregnant and just a little um, over a month or so, we were surprised to welcome two of our newer um, two new cats into our family. Um, today is actually Ziggy's eighth birthday. Um, one of his uh, adoptees actually uh, sent him a birthday card. If you'd like to visit Ziggy, you can see him here at Turpentine Creek along with BB King and Mac. Get him! Good job! You got him! You got him! Good boy!